The world of Kenshi is not kind to living things, but in this harsh world I created a rare soul. One with a simple dream of painting the ocean. We need some really artist name here. I wanna call it like Shaz. Oh Juan Tmanachi. My name is Juan Chas Tmanachi. I am an artist. I set out to reach for Juan's dream. Since all my earlier runs had died in the center of the map, I spun a pen, and I would go where the pen sent me. Ah, I, I go to hell apparently. Okay, can I do it less poorly? Okay, I am going to the west. Let's just go straight to the water here. My chat were delighted with the result. I had been repeatedly told that there were giraffes in that direction. It seems like on the path to the ocean, Juan Shastamachi were to find some models. Is this the hive village? Well, we'll see if they hate me. Hello hives, are you okay with my general presence? Look, a human! Are you sure this is a human? Let's see here. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, let, let's sneak. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. I did not see them! I did not see them! Uh... Ah! Uh, uh. That was how Juan's life ended. Mauled by giraffes. I pride myself in not resetting, and two of the three times I've done that, I made YouTube videos out of it. Why do I do this to myself? From here on out, this game became a survival horror. No more resets. What's done? It's done. So I'm gonna try to make it over here. I don't think I will manage to, but I will try. Oh. Wait, am I gonna live? Oh my god! Wait, am I actually gonna get away? I got away. One arm down, but for an artist, two arms is a luxury. If you could only get to the end, it would all be worth it. My new strategy was clear. Try to sneak my way to the finish line. And if I ever were found by the big things, the Hivers were there to save me. Oh, you got this, guys. You got this. The Hivers luckily didn't blame Juan for the loss of their finest soldiers, or him playing on their corpses, and is set out to reach his ultimate goal. Juan hid his giant body in the dark, hunkering low to avoid the creatures wishing to feast on him. But even the world itself were against him. Oh, that's, that's acid? What the fuck? Wait, what? That's an acid river? No, that's, that's just unfair. That's just unfair, come on. Let's keep going. So we're gonna need to be very, very observant here. Against all odds, Juan found himself in throwing distance of the beach. Seeing the beach for the first time playing this game. That's kind of been the goal with the, uh, for Shaz, to find the beach. Where he can uh, make his uh, lewd paintings, I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, something discovered me. I am gonna rush to the beach so I get to ever see it. I'm okay with dying on the beach. Let's get to the beach! Oh god, there's another one here. I'm gonna get to the beach even if it kills me. This is probably the end of Juan. Ooh. Maybe I can micromanage to- <gasps> What the hell? Why did you run that way? Okay, maybe I can micromanage here. Unlikely, but maybe. Yeah, maybe it's... Maybe I can dodge. He got me. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, that's my left leg. I'm screwed. God damn it. I can see the beach! Yeah, there we go. I... I made it to the beach! As his innards were spilled on the ground, 
Juan laid eyes on the ocean of his dreams, as red as his blood pooling on the ground. But he himself became a work of art by the ocean, painted by the two Fimars of the Beak Things. Rest in peace, Juan. Hello there, this is Corky Prophet. Juan unfortunately never finished his creations. However, if you want to see more from me, simply press this button over here. This gets awkward pretty quickly.